Hi Taurus, welcome to your quantum reading with me, Jocelyn the Quantum Queen. So this is of course for Taurus Sun, Moon, or Rising. And as always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Taurus and the message could actually be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates to you and your situation. If you guys would like to book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can find my information down below in the description box. I just wanted to say thank you for liking, subscribing, and thank you for all the good karma donations. I appreciate it so, so, so much. So, Gem, these are, I'm sorry, I, I was saying that because Gem, um, Taurus. So these are the archetype cards, and I think you guys have seen me use archetypes before on uh, my channel. These ones are a little bit different. I've been waiting for these to come out by Kim Kranz. And dude, they are good. So that is what I'm going to be using for your guys' reading. Because we have a million different archetypes that we embody throughout our lifetime, right? Because you're constantly coming across like new situations, new relationships, and they bring out a new you. So you're like constantly meeting a new you on a day-to-day -day basis. So this is all these archetypes, they lie within us. So that's why I'm going to see what is specifically coming out for you guys. Oh, and I was feeling that one. I don't know why. Okay, that is hilarious because that's what flipped over. Okay, so I'm going to take both of those. And then I apologize. These are, I'm still kind of breaking these in. So they take a little bit to pop out. And there is, hmm, I actually love this oh tara see this is why i love this okay what's going on for you guys is i think that you're kind of in the in this process um of manifesting some of you might actually be a mentor or this could be an outside influence but the thing that i love about this archetype in in her book is that it's someone who has this gift and ability to be able to read the environment of the people around and know exactly what to say to influence change or, you know, like transformation in other people. So Taurus, maybe you have that ability or maybe this could either be from this reading or maybe it's going to be like some other mentor that you watch on Facebook or YouTube or something like that's going to bring out some type of truth within you to help in transformation. And sometimes this can be painful. <laughs> sometimes it can feel really good. But that's the thing that I love about the mentor is they know exactly what to say to like get that inspiration to go within you. And maybe it's partially because, Taurus, maybe you have this thing that you're trying to create in your life. Maybe a dream or a vision. The creator, oh, it's, this card always reminds me of like Steve Jobs because this type of archetype or, you know, energy has the ability to completely create and manifest manifest something really innovative that shocks people that people would think no there's no way we could do that so that's why it's kind of like steve jobs and the iphone it's something that wow it completely shifts society so maybe that's something within you taurus um that you have this ability or maybe this dream or something that you want to create. All of us are creative people. This doesn't have to be, I know it has on there like a paintbrush. You don't have to just be like a painter or draw to be a creator. Like everyone has their own unique, unique creative abilities because every single human is creative. Like it's that sexual energy within you that is creation ability. Okay, that's energy that you put toward creating life. Like when we have that sexual urge within us, it's the desire to birth something new into life. So some of you might actually be pregnant and birthing a child, just throwing that out there if that applies. But I do want to say that even maybe for some of you, maybe the thing that you're trying to create and manifest in your life is that you want to be some type of a mentor. Maybe you're wanting to be a life coach or a public speaker because maybe like you have this very unique perspective on life and on people. So you're wanting to be like maybe a therapist or something like that. You're, you're wanting to help people um, with your knowledge. Maybe that's by like writing a book. You know, it's definitely like, oh, so many things I can get from that. But this is what's really fascinating coming out, okay? We've got also the stone and the mask. Now, 
people are always like looking at the mask as what are you hiding? But if you look at it from a, dis a different perspective and look at it more like what, what within you has the ability to be exposed? You know, like maybe a vulnerability or maybe something. And I actually, oh, I'm going to take this in a completely different direction because the stone is always um, in the book. It talks a lot and maybe this will ignite something within you guys. But the stone in the book is all about literal stones in our environment, in nature. It's very like um, psychic type of energy, because you have to think about it. Stones have been around since like the beginning of time. They're ageless. Like they literally the way they've seen so many different times and it, evolutionary processes of humans. Like they've seen all these different societies and they've just watched time go by and they're so stable and sturdy in our environment. Okay. So the one thing I want to say with this, actually, Taurus, is that I feel like, um, hmm, oh, what was I going to say? What I want to say with this energy is that there's like a stability about you as you go through this transformation, maybe like exposing something. So maybe some of you are wanting to come out and let's say, for example, you're wanting to write a book or come out on YouTube or social media to maybe like expose some things about yourself, like who you truly are. Some this can be kind of like a coming out of the closet. Do you know what I mean? It can be, but here you are, like there's this stability about you. And I think that's where you need to maybe put a little bit of your focus, Taurus, is that you need to set up your foundation to be very firm so that when this maybe unveiling comes about or something that you're wanting to expose about your life and your process, that you just have a really um, firm, stable environment and foundation to really like feel stable as some of this gets unveiled. Does that make sense? Because... I'm going to tell you guys <laughs> when you come out of the closet in some way, shape or form in your life. Like, for example, when I came out of the closet of maybe like changing my name or um, when I came out as being like a spiritual person, you know, into tarot and all that. And not a lot of people were really supportive of that. And that is what it is, you know? Like, you always have to just accept that people are going to have their own way of viewing life. And that's just what it is. But, you know, like, looking back over my process, I just, I'm really grateful for the times in life. Like, for example, when I changed my name, it was quite a, a difficult process because I didn't have... um support of some of the closest people that were in my life but it was almost like spirit or the universe brought in other people that were very accepting of that like they were very supportive of it and that's what I found really fascinating is that like sometimes uh, you know if things start to fall apart as you start to expose some type of vulnerability about yourself or come about come out about your truth or your transformation in your life or the things that you have maybe felt ashamed of about your entire life I'm telling you guys like the things that you're ashamed of are the gems you know like that's the the thing to be exposed that will bring you to your soul tribe. It will connect you to the people that you're meant to be with. And that's what's really cool. So that's that's kind of the message I'm getting from everything coming out in your lineup of cards is that, yeah, there's almost like this unveiling that you're going to be going through. And maybe the other thing that I'm going to recommend is that through this process, maybe for some of you, your stability might be even in get, getting your own mentor. Like maybe you're planning to be a mentor, but I'm telling you, like coaches even have coaches. Like I even saw forever ago, Tony Robbins, he used to go to Ken Wilber. And you guys know I'm a huge fan of, fan of Ken Wilber because coaches need coaches too. Like we're all growing in this process. So it's always helpful if you have someone to go to that will help you to maybe even see parts of yourself, Taurus, that you don't totally have access to. Like it's actually very, um, like, 
I don't know, just maybe a ch childish isn't the right word, but it's just kind of like naive to think that you know everything. There's always something that you can learn from having someone else that maybe has the ability to see through your own masks to be able to see past your own blinders to get to the bottom of things. So maybe like blockages you have or things like that. So that might be really, you know, significant for you, Taurus, because here's this really gorgeous thing that I think you're in the process of creating. And that's what I think that, I mean, it's obviously meant for you or it wouldn't be coming out in this read today. So for some of you, yeah, look at that. We've got the full card, okay? There's a new beginning that you're stepping into and I'm gonna pull out these three, which, crap. <laughs> okay, this is what you're stepping into, okay, Taurus. So there's your new beginning, and I feel like your creative endeavor or something is going to pull you into this new beginning. This is all about a leap of faith, okay? It can feel a little bit like, oh, you know, and which makes sense to me because if you're exposing something maybe about your life or, you know, what's actually coming out to me really significantly is for some reason lately I've been watching Demi Moore because she just wrote this book and she started talking like exposing a lot of vulnerabilities about herself so i don't know why that's just popping out maybe even for some of you is like maybe writing a book and that's why it can have just a titch of that energy of a leap of faith exposing it because of maybe there's other people in your life that don't necessarily approve but this is what's really cool, Taurus, is we've got the lover's card and this is a partnership. I actually keep feeling like this is a mentor to you. Like this is someone I feel like in your life that, like I was saying, maybe they could just be a mentor, but they're really good at helping you to see through different things. And that is what I feel like is maybe a part of that stone. And this is like a stable type of partnership in your life. And you need to be aware of who, this is the other thing popping out to me. Who are your positive, stable um, partnerships in your life? Do you know what I, like the positive ones, the ones that uplift you? Because on the shadow side of this can be like disharmony, distress, jealousy, friction, frustration. If any of that is involved in your dynamics, I'm going to tell you straight up that it is not a, a healthy partnership and that's not going to create this firm stability for you that's what's going to help like I was saying at the beginning when I came out about my name change and I had people that weren't supportive it's like automatically spirit and the universe brought in people that were going to support me in that process of that really big change in my life so that's what you need to take a look at Taurus is like this process is really going to expose who's who in your life who's really um, supportive of you, who's a very like positive, stable uh, partnership in your life that's really going to support you and no matter what you do. And so that's why sometimes the best thing is to have a mentor because sometimes friendships and family and love relationships, it gets too convoluted, you know, just merging all these different things. So sometimes, and some of you might actually have someone like that in your life, like a lover that is just so supportive of what you're doing. And that's what I'm saying, Taurus, is like, you need to hold on to that person and really keep them in your life. If not, then this is where I think Spirit's really pointing out, you need to take a look at the people in your life that are truly supportive of you in the decisions that you're making and start making transitions away from those people because Spirit's going to lead up with other ones that are truly going to support you in what you're doing. And we have this popping out too. We have the high priestess. So that I'm going to throw right down the middle because I think um, your intuition, because that's what's kind of similar, the stone and the high priestess. It's all about psychic, you know, and maybe a lot of your inspiration and a lot of like the what you're going to get for this thing that you're creating is going to come from being in nature. Do you know what I mean? Amongst like, I know it sounds ridiculous to some people, but being out in nature in the environment, like I always think of Lord of the Rings and the trees, you know, like the old tree guys, they're, they're so full of wisdom because they've been around for ages. You know, they've seen time and 
um, different people come and go. They've seen wars and battles and that is truly like the entanglement of nature. When you go out in there, I'm telling you guys, like the inspiration that comes just from being in nature is extremely profound. So I would say that's another thing to incorporate in your process is making sure that you're outside as much as possible and just really like getting wisdom from um, the stones, from, you know, from the architecture of nature. Do you know what I mean? So let's see what comes out here. For you guys, I feel like it's, even though we've got the lovers, I'm feeling like this is more like a mentorship, you know, that there's someone kind of guiding you in this process to help you in this thing that you're manifesting. Because yeah, look at that. There's this eight of pentacles. That's you working really hard toward this manifesting it. And for some of you, if you are still wondering like what you need to do, how to even start manifesting this, it's all going to be in your hard work and your dedication. And you know, I'm going to take a different energy with this. Here's that seven of swords. This is all about lies, deceit, maybe taking advantage of. Um, I, I, uh, there's two different things I'm picking up with this because it came in upside down. I think there's a possibility, Taurus, that you have some people that maybe like, uh, you're not, what I'm getting with it being upside down is that you're not allowing, it's like you've got the, this high intuition. So you're not, you've got people around you that almost like have the potential of taking advantage of you, but you're not allowing it. That's, I don't know why, but that's what I'm getting. It's kind of like, you're, you can see what it is, what like people's intentions are, and you're not letting it happen is what I'm getting. The other thing um, too about the seven of swords that can be a lot of strategy. So I think that you guys need to kind of take a look at that, like kind of strategize. And it'll be quite a combination of things, which can be kind of crazy. But, oh, this is interesting. So two of swords, I want to say that you guys, um, again, two different things. You might be blocking some people out of your life, okay? Um, which is probably in the entanglement, going back to that lover's card. Maybe they're going through this transition, Taurus, of um, seeing even the mask in other people around you. Do you know what I mean? Like you're starting to see, like I was saying, and maybe cutting and blocking some people out of your life with that two of swords. But the other thing of, too about the two of swords is I feel like you're still kind of like balancing between two different realities. Do you know what I mean? Because you're you're, I just keep getting that you're in this like transition mode of on the precipice of manifesting this thing. And that's why, because you're stepping into a new beginning. So that's why, oh, wow, we've got the three of cups. This is what I'm saying is what's going to happen is you're going through, boom, death card. You're cutting some people out of your life straight up, Taurus, because what's happening is you're making room for the new. Okay, and as you step into this new beginning, it's going to be a brand new you. And I'm going to say too that um, sometimes it can seem like a lonely process. It happens, you know. And the thing that will empower you more is by embracing that. Okay, like really don't push against it. Don't like try to avoid the the transformation that happens here even the change that happens just allow it to all shift and happen because that death card that's all about transformation and metamorphosis which is necessary for you to be like a, a really great creator and for some of you if you're trying to be a mentor and to step into this new beginning it's all gonna be this shedding that death card is a shedding of the old old energies and that's why um, for some of you that even this might feel a little bit dark night of the soulish, just throwing that out there. And I'm going to say it's all about that transformation because in your cellular structure, it's just like an accumulation of stress and free radicals and everything that you take into your body. And so over time that adds up and that can um, start manifesting in your actual relationships, right? It's like a holographic projection 
of what's going on internally inside of you. That's the quantum physics. That's the entanglement to your outside reality. So that's why you guys might coming be coming across relationships where you're starting to see the masks drop off. You're starting to see people's real intentions. And because of that, it's helping you to move away and step into a new beginning. So just embrace it, Taurus. It's all setting up something really good and new for you, okay? So, Taurus, I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to dive into the extended with this and the new beginning popping out there. So, if you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Just go down below, click on the Vimeo link, and I'll see you on the other side. But, Taurus, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love. Wishing you all the very best, and I will see you in your next reading. Take care.